Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have a very special guest joining us in the studio now, and that is no other than World. He's here to talk about his latest single, Contagious, and he's also going to be telling us what it's like being a Nigerian-based artist living in America. How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing? Well, an American-based artist living. <laughs> Nigerian, yeah, oh yeah, that's so true. American-based artist live. A Nigerian-American Nigerian artist. Nigerian-born. <laughs> Nigerian-born. Nigerian born. Nigerian born. <laughs> Nigerian born. So maybe, exactly. yes, let's America just ask raised. the question. Yeah. So, are you, you were born in Nigeria? Yeah, I was born in Nigeria. At what point did you leave Nigeria? I uh, left after high school and um, did my college in Atlanta. Um, I'm back home. Yeah. Good to have you. Have you moved home. back, like, full You know time? what? I'm going to be here a lot because uh, a lot of the music and the content that I'm creating now it brings me closer to the home because I've been fusing a lot of, like, the Afro sound with a lot of, like, just, like, universal conversation. And a lot of people have been really asking me to come home. I feel like it's just a great time. It yeah. feels no place like home. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So take us through a journey. Let's get to know you. Yeah. When did you get into the industry and how did you find your passion for the entertainment industry? Um, music was something I found at a very young age, like I was like 12. Um, but not until I moved to Atlanta. Because like, Atlanta is like a hub for music when it comes to songwriters, producers. And for me, I had an opportunity to like, learn from some of the best people because in America, like, everyone comes to Atlanta to create music. So it's kind of like, I find myself in this mix where it's like the energy for music is so amazing, right? And I um, started doing a lot of talent shows after my um, college time hours and stuff. And I will just really just go to talent shows and just get myself involved in as many things as possible, learning how to write songs and um, just meeting people and just learning the ropes of it. I didn't really take it, like, professionally like serious till I graduated college and I did computer science and um, really it's it's been a process and music has always been a part of me and it, not until like I actually um, graduated college did I actually start you know pursuing it heavy. And when you decided to pursue it heavy was that when you chose your name and why how did you come about your name? So the name part was um, it was a process because the music I was creating at the time was um, colorless, right, very alternative, and I um, really wanted to um, create just songs that had no boundaries, and a lot of my friends were like, yo, this song, this song sounds very worldly and stuff, and shortly after, I was like, yo, like, that sounds like it fits, I couldn't find a name to fit what I was doing, my real name didn't feel right for it, and I was like, the world sounds good, and um, shortly after that, I realized, put, making my name world would be a problem because people won't be able to find me on the internet. So I just switched it to you, like W-U-R-L-D. You know, it wasn't really no deep thing about it. It was just something like, okay, you know what? If I make it you, I can still say it as world and but still keep the vibe. Friendly. Exactly. And make it easy for supporters and people to find me. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, well, so what's your full name? Sadiq Onifade. What yeah. states are you from? Ogun State. Abel hey. Kutah. Oh, interesting. Oh, well. yeah. <laughs> How good is your Yoruba? Like, pretty accurate. Really? Yeah, you so want to switch? So do I put you to the test? Yeah, you want to switch? Well, I yeah. can't even speak Yoruba, so and I'm Yoruba, Yoruba. and she's, she's Yoruba. Yoruba. Yeah, and yeah. Yoruba. Oh, wow. So do we switch? Yeah, let's do it. Kile Jela Roy. Um, you're TJ Koko. Uh-uh. Kile like that's my thing. Okay. I'm like a four, you know. Kile like a malabai. What's the person with the Jamala? What's the person? What's the person? Ah. You know, but you know what? You know You know what? You know what? Actually, I'm <laughs> That's yeah. my number one. That's your number one? Yeah. Like, like it's Leila so Lee's good. Like, but I'm from Ibadan, I'm from Oyo State, so oh, wow. no surprises there. But Amala is my number one. There's some certain things, like yeah. America, I would never try to eat. Like, I just feel like I won't get the authentic mm. vibe to it. So, I'm going to look for a lot of Jamala. I can do a crumb. Let me know. I'm going to take you You got to let me know where yeah. the spot. Sure, we will. Exactly. We will. Now, I'm, I'm wondering, we find that... I, I must really applaud parents that do this. Mm -hmm. When their kids go to live outside the country, yeah. they still find a way to preserve their culture. How yeah. are you able to preserve this amongst, you know, the the exposure, the Western exposure, the Western influence? How yeah. are you able to still stick to your roots? You know, um, I'll give that um, to my parents, you know. Um, being a kid, like, I, I just learned a lot of, like, being a child. You know, I grew up here before moving. So for me, I feel like I had best of both worlds. So being in America, I kind of like just stay grounded still. You know, I talk to my family all the time. You know, I actually cook, so it keeps me close 
to where What's like, your favorite thing to cook? Um, what's my favorite thing? I make the best at four year old, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, are you single? <laughs> Yeah, I am. Hey, ladies. How's the material in the building? Yeah, I mean, don't, don't announce it to them. Yeah. Don't announce it to them. Some of us are still, maybe. Oh, who wow. Knows, who oh, knows. wow. Girls, some people are shooting their shots on this set. <laughs> so, I'm, I feel, yeah, I make, I make like good, like um, fried rice, jollof rice. Um, I love eating plantain a lot. High so, five, so for boy. Me, so for you, me. Say that again. Say that again. Plantain. She's doing this on plantain. purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know some people in She's life doing this on purpose. Plantain. For real? That's like one of my favorite things. And to I, eat. I think that's a sin. Yeah. I've overeaten plantain. It's yeah. not that I don't eat it, but I just don't go out of my way to eat it anymore. Like, but if it's like, there, fine. But if it's not there, I'm not like, oh my God, I want plantain. But I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the, the, the ones here, even, they even taste better. Oh, yeah, not definitely. Processed. All the food I've been having is just tastes like heaven. When I'd get plantain in the UK, I used to be so upset. So yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it's 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 just it just feels so amazing being home. It's but for me, like home. it just when I feel like I need to eat anything, I just go into the kitchen and do it. I love feeding people. So it's like another thing I like to, to do besides Aww. music. <laughs> Sweet, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Please. Sweet. Let's talk about you know your music and yeah. what 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 were the expectations when you came back home? You know, with your music and how's the reception been so far? You know what. It's been so much love. I, I didn't know what to expect. For me, I was just happy to be home, right? Um, going to different radio stations and meeting different people. I didn't realize, even like, for example, the song Show You Off, I didn't realize how much impact it had on... Um, that was like, huge over here. And you know what? That's what I heard. And I'm like, I, I may be connected with like, people that hit me up on social media, and I, I would get that vibe. Right, but there's, I think there's really nothing like being present. So like, it's been an amazing feeling just knowing that people appreciate the music. And really like, I created the music from a selfless place, right? Really, um, I, wanted, I wanted to be closer to home. I wanted to create something that's part of the, the, the culture, the shift in Africa is amazing. Um, it's always been amazing. The, the light is shining in Africa right now mm -hmm. in the most beautiful form. Um, we have so much to offer, not just music, fashion, um, art. Um, there's like amazing, like when I say artists, painters, um, technology. We have a lot to offer. So I feel like music is just like an introduction. And um, me being a musician, like um, knowing that I can, um, I've been blessed to learn different types of music, like from pop music to I work with different people. And um, fusing my sound with like, um, culture of music that I was introduced to at a very early age is the most beautiful thing ever. So, yeah. That's amazing. Now, let's speak about your latest single, Contagious. Yeah. What would you say inspired you to? Did you write the song? Yeah. I okay, what, what inspired the lyrics? So, um, I was hiking in LA, right? And um, LA is one of those places where people live the most like free, right? So, hiking, like people like walking their dogs, family, friends, and just really just having like the most free time with nature. Right, but really the idea of it is like people making the best of the most um, inexpensive things, just nature, right, and just family and friends, and um, that conversation is like happy people are contagious. Some people are just high and just wave, and you can feel the energy, like yo, like this people like are just free, right, and like happy people are contagious. Love is contagious, energy is contagious. If I walk in on set with a shitty attitude, like you know, I. People watching will feel that energy. So, like, really, you have the power to control um, the type of um, energy you give to the world, regardless of what's coming at you. And I just really wanted to remind people, knowing that, like, being you being African, Asian, American, it's a conversation that is needed all around the place. And fusing that with, like, authentic Afro beats and juju vibe makes it closer to home. And people are going to trace it back to Nigeria. Yeah. All right, you. We we're really proud of you. You know, we're proud Thank of you, you for putting us, keep making us, keep making us proud. You know, we see Thank the likes you. of the Davidos and the Whiskids yeah. who are taking Doing our amazing. names. Amazing, amazing. Who are the people? Or you would say that are the people you look forward to working with in mm -hmm. Nigeria? I, um, I've been talking to a few people. Um, Adekunle Gold, um, Brian Mo. Um, what's my Amazing talents now? you mentioned there. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, it's so many talents. Coming. I could I'm, see you and Simi on a song together. Yeah, absolutely. That she's amazing, amazing. She has an amazing tone. Um, so many people. Like I'm very open. So me, I always, I always say like I just like just catching the vibe and energy. Hmm. And so the first songs will come who are, from the people that I connect with first. 
and okay. I'll just keep expanding on that. Who would yeah. you say are like your top three like favorite Nigerian artists? Top three, I'll say um, Adekunle Gold, Wande Cole. Um, three, 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 three. One more, one more, one more. Just say Burner Boy, please. Burner Boy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Burner Boy is amazing. Thank you. Oh, yeah, wow. he's amazing. Okay. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now because like um, even in his sound, he's um, he's pushing like authentic. Like yeah. Afro vibes and really, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll talk about your album in a bit, but let's talk okay. about your teal, bluish hair for a bit. Why yeah, did yeah. you choose this color? So first, so this is a conversation that I've had so many times. So blue is my favorite color, right? And um, I've I've always wanted to like do color or just switch my hair color, or whatever. But I was like, if I switch my hair color, I want to hold it and do it for a long time. So for me to do it for a whole time and for a long time, I felt like I needed to um, stick to a color that I felt like. How I long have you had this for? for? About two years now. Now I'm trying to imagine we have the African mom thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I know how African moms realize. Yeah. Ah, Sadi, continue dying. You know what? I don't know how my I don't know how my mom. Um, I think you know, like I feel like my my parents have accepted me as I am and what I'm doing and. I think they trust me to make good choices. Yeah. So there wasn't any side they, you know eye what? from any mom or you know, you know what? 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 I think they trust me to make good choices because I've even my mom didn't ask me. So I think she just trusts like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. When I got my nose ring, my mom was like, "Oh, that's really nice." My dad was just like, "Hmm, okay, your life, do what you want to do." I was yeah. like, "Oh, okay, dad." <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I've, I've not even had the conversation, and uh, you know, it makes it even easier, I guess, um, not having to do that but I know she thinks about it like you know yeah maybe some of her friends that are like okay what's what is he doing now uh, I'm sure like I'm not you know somebody's always gonna have someone's a problem with had it. something to say yeah. and you know what I've had it so long <laughs> yeah that I actually forget that I have blue hair like on my head kids actually wake me up because you know how kids are like amazing mm. and I've seen so many kids holding their parents or the moms hands and I walk past and then look hold their mom like yo yeah take a look what's at going on here <laughs> right and then those of you are like the, watching kids faces like the priceless ones <laughs> and I've seen a few people especially in Nigeria yeah. you know you know it's Nigeria's an amazing place you see people watch look hmm. yeah, and I'm, I could just hopefully you don't get into trouble with SARS Anyway, <laughs> absolutely. Let's yeah. move on and talk about your album. We hear your album is coming out soon. Yes, yes, Contagious. Um, um, it's the EP, and it has "Show You Off," which is the first song. Um, Contagious, the second single. It's gonna be a seven-song EP, five new unreleased records. Any collaborations? No collaborations on that project. Um, the other collaborative project that I have coming um, is the Trouble Project with SARS, and um, that's TBD as well. But you know, I have a lot of music to, to share and a lot of collaborations. Um, I'm just looking forward to sharing a lot more visuals. Um, people have been like hitting me up like, yo, where's the next song? Um, but, you know, we're working hard like to make sure that we give as much as we receive in this love. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. Now, you've been in Lagos for how long now? Um, a little over a week. Okay. What would you yeah. say your favorite things to do in the city? Favorite thing to do is eat. Hmm. So literally, we the, found our soul brother. Ain't I'm it? telling you. <laughs> no, the favorite thing, like honestly, like you know, food here is so amazing. I think we literally starved ourselves just so we could eat food, and you know, we had a few like changes in our flight, right? So pretty much, let's say we knew that we're leaving like in two days from now, and we've been like preparing for the food, and something comes up like, oh, we have to change our flights and move it to a later date. That was the heartbreak. I think when we landed, like, we were ready. So we literally just went in. We will we talk about in. this food beat right Absolutely. after the show. But then let's talk about that single yeah. style, that single beat for a minute. Yeah. Um, let's look at your spec, because, you know, some people are already shooting shots on set. What kind of woman do You're you want? You're actually so silly. <laughs> and um, would you consider dating someone in the same industry with you, in the same industry, in the same profession? You know what's so crazy, right? Um, it's hard to really try to pick who you want to be with. That's like the hardest thing to do. That's like the wrong thing to do. So a lot of times things just happen. Like for me, like I just think I've I've found like love in the most unusual places without planning. 
You said what? You're on a ship. No, it's just very like not. A lot of times you're not looking for it and it just finds you. And you find yourself wrapped Tell into me it. You, about get yourself, it you get yourself in a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. I totally understand. Absolutely. That. Good trouble, bad trouble, you know, just different experiences. Um, and a lot of the music that I have come in, it's a lot of conversations um, deeper, you know, into like people can kind of like get to know me more. I feel like the first songs that we released are more commercial. Um, the first song, Show You Off, is just appreciation of a woman, really. And uh, I felt like it was a conversation that was missing. All right. And so you're open to. Um, love happening regardless of how it happens, wherever it absolutely. happens. Absolutely, absolutely, okay. absolutely. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, you know, I just let it happen. You're a free spirit. Exactly. And that's a really good thing. Absolutely. Now, of course, there are clear differences between the American music industry and the Nigerian music industry. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we have a lot of challenges coming our way that so many artists over here are constantly speaking about. Mm -hmm. What challenges would you say you've noticed in the Nigerian music industry that make you a bit skeptical mm -hmm. about really coming in there? You know what? Um, it's communication, right? And at first, I, I, um, I didn't know how to communicate. Because me, uh, for me, I learned creating music abroad, right? It's a different type of structure, mm. right? In the African music, it's a certain niche for the popular audience, right? At first, I didn't know how to communicate, all right? I had to just study and know what people like, you know? And I feel like I've been doing good, pretty well communicating so far. So it's really like, you know, just not knowing how to communicate with a larger audience. And I, I feel like, you know, I've been blessed and thankful to how much um, people have been receiving my work. Yeah. What's the projection for the future for World? Um, really, I feel like the most... In 10 seconds. Okay, <laughs> really, it's given, given, given back. Okay. Um, that's the most selfless thing. I think we are, we are made to be selfless, no matter how much, whatever it is, how little you have, whatever, I think life is about giving. And really, like, um, I'm looking forward to um, really just figuring out a way to um, give back to, um, you know, the community. I know it way first. Yeah. Launch. Okay. So <laughs> awesome. Let's do it. Exactly. We've had the pleasure of speaking with World. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so How much for having me. How can people follow you up on social media to find out what So my do. social media is the same across, like, um, Instagram, Twitter. It's at This Is World. And it's T H I S I S W U R L D. All right. Yeah. Follow him up. Brilliant. And single yeah. ladies, you know what to do. Uh to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.